if you've been around the internet for as long as I've been, I mean, I, I was reading articles when the internet starting started to become big. I've seen the development of forums and then social medias and all that stuff. And of course, when you write articles, you will always find people who don't like you. And oftentimes, these guys lack confidence and they, the bigger, or they want to be known, they want to be admired, respected. And one of the easiest way to do that is to attack someone who's higher up than you are. So you have this expert, so you attack them to take yourself up to their level at least in the eyes of the people who are watching on social media. Now you have people who actually do present valid arguments, okay? Oftentimes they can be a pain in the ass because they will quote study after study after study after study, but at least they are arguing a case. Then you have the other side, which are the haters. People who just go with personal attacks, attack your credibility and stuff like that just by hating, never presenting actual valid argument. For example, uh, I posted a video on, on social media about why I don't like stimulants, why is the downsides of stimulants. And I would say that I got like 100 shares, tons of comments. Most of them were very, very positive. But you have always like that one guy, like, He's a juicer and he's talking about stimulants. How hypocritical is that? Okay. First of all, I, I've went on several podcasts saying that when I was younger, I did use steroids. I mean, I, I was, I always had low self-esteem. Uh, I had no sense of direction and I was really using my body image to, to gain admiration from others to boost my own self-esteem. I mean, during my seminars, I spent hours talking about all the mistakes I made. If anything, it makes me more able to understand the difference between people who use drugs and people who don't use drugs, because I, I have lived both and I know the difference when it comes to training. You know, when I, I, I stopped using drugs, at first I started trying to do the same kind of programs and I would just burn out and actually got fatter. So I learned the difference. Now, they, they use that to try to discredit me. But in my opinion, it makes me a better coach because I know what people who use drugs feel. I, I know their mindset. And I know the difference physiologically, spe physiologically speaking between people who use drugs or not. So that's just one example. But, but you have all these kind of examples. Just for some reason, a guy don't like you. And because he don't like you, all you say is bullshit. They never actually read the article. They just look at the title and they start to attack you. Well, I don't care. I, I, that, that's bad, right? I, I just don't fucking care about what you think. What I want to do is I want to help people out. And that's what I really hate about haters is that they take something that is overall positive, like someone, me or anyone else, trying to help someone out by sharing our experience, sharing our knowledge for free oftentimes, and they try to just because they want themselves to look better, or because they don't like what you're saying because it goes against their own belief. Instead of arguing in a logical manner, they resort to personal attacks, which is, of course, the lowest possible quality of argumentation. But it makes everything bad for everybody. I mean, I, I've known several people who had tons of tons of knowledge to share, just stop because they were sick of the haters. You know what? I'm not that guy because I want to help people so much, I don't care what people think about me. I used to, I don't anymore. But not everybody is like me. If you are a hater, Remember that just because you hate someone doesn't mean that they don't have anything worthwhile to share. And if that person stops sharing information just because of your hate, then everybody is losing because of you, okay? So the haters should be hated on.